morning. It's me, Dan. Captain Dan. But of course, who else were you expecting? Yeah. <coughs> and yeah, it's uh, it's early. It's still dark out. And I'm just getting ready to start my day. Oh, but I do want to talk briefly about a particularly noxious creationist preacher who works for a noxious creationist ministry called AIG Canada. What is AIG Canada? Well, what is AIG? It's Answers in Genesis. It's a ministry created by, oh, an Australian expat named Ken Ham who is a con man, a scammer, a liar, and famously claims to have won a debate against Bill Nye the Science Guy, based solely upon the fact that when asked what would change his mind, instead of saying evidence, he said nothing. Nothing would change his mind. Now, when you're that dogmatically ignorant, Honesty goes out the window pretty quickly. Yeah. And if that's the kind of leadership that AIG headquarters has, that kind of dogmatic ignorance, just imagine what its subsidiary has going for it or against it. And so we come to Calvin Smith. Calvin Smith, a man who honestly comes across as a wannabe Stephen Harper with, uh, dare I say it, an entire Ken Ham shoved up his ass. Yeah. And that's got to be painful. Absolutely. What does Calvin Smith do? Well, he lies, and he obfuscates, and he commits logical fallacies. And one of his more recent videos, he uh, tries to go all military looking in order to be a tough guy. Well, that went over very, very badly, honestly. He he comes across as somebody trying desperately to overcompensate, which, admittedly, is exactly what he is, but I digress. Hmm. In any case, he makes a bizarre claim that if he had a magic wand that could give him one wish, his wish is that he would make everybody believe that the earth was 6,000 years old. Because if he could do that, he could get everybody to deny evolution and be a Christian and be ignorant. Yeah, but that's not how it works. And I'm gonna explain why that's not how it works in a moment. First, tea and breakfast and getting showered and dressed to go to work. So in any case, Calvin, yeah. Imagine if you did get your wish that you could magically make people believe that the earth was 6,000 years old. What exactly would you accomplish? Well, you'd confuse a lot of people. Because the evidence, the evidence that anybody can see, anybody can observe, anybody can test, demonstrates clearly and conclusively that, no, the Earth is not 6,000 years old. The Earth is 4.5 billion years old. And that evidence 
isn't just going to magically go away. Because that evidence is the Earth itself. And that's your first problem. But not your last. See, that's the thing. You can make people forget that the Earth is four and a half billion years old. But it won't take long for them to figure it back out again. And then, of course, there's the other part of this. Your rather foolish belief that this will somehow make people also forget about evolution. Well, it may take a little longer for people to figure out evolution again. But not by much. And honestly, in that brief period when people don't remember evolution, you're going to have chaos. And I can explain this to you very clearly after work. Yeah, so as I was saying, it's after work, it's been a long shift, and I am good, absolutely. In any case, dear Calvin Smith, if you could make humanity forget evolution, basically all you would achieve is global famine and outbreaks of disease on a catastrophic scale. You would achieve millions, possibly billions, dead and untold misery and despite all of this people would figure it out again because let's face it we're not stupid pretty soon scientists would recognize the patterns that exist in nature and we would come to the conclusion that there is a process at work in nature that we can manipulate and they might give it another name but its description would match the description of that process that we now call evolution because it would be the same process. See, people don't accept evolution because they have heart problems. We accept evolution because there is a preponderance of evidence so overwhelming that to not accept evolution is an act of utter delusionality. It is delusionality at its finest. If you could make the whole world forget everything we know about testable, observable reality, we would still rediscover testable, observable reality because testable, observable reality isn't going anywhere. It's not. Testable, observable reality will always remain. Now, I realize that young earth creationism is a cherished idea for you, Mr. Smith. And you cling to it, and you protect it, and you coddle it. But that's not science. You see, science doesn't coddle ideas. It doesn't cherish or protect them. Science straps ideas to a rocket sled and launches them at a reinforced concrete wall. And if the ideas are valid, the shattered wreckage will be the wall. So, yes, Calvin, Calvin Smith. The war you wage is one-sided. It's you, waging a one-sided war against observable, testable reality. And yeah, it's a war that you lost hundreds of years ago, long before you were born. You are never going to make reality go away.